So I started talking about how through formatting, you can start to create separation in the different areas of content that you have in your Microsoft Excel worksheet. I added background colors to really create separation. Now I'm gonna to add to this idea of creating separation based on our content. For example, I've got some totals down below from cell A10 down to E10. Now I've changed the background color and that really does help to add some separation between the totals and the raw records up above. But I like to even make that more apparent. I'm gonna do this by adding a border. I'm gonna add a border, just a single line at the top of that range of cells. Now I'm gonna do it here. I'm also gonna do it up above. I wanna add a border between my bill headings and my actual bills down below. Once again, just creating a sense of separation between the two different sets of content. So, first step, I'm gonna highlight my totals. You know what, actually, I'm gonna highlight the gas record here. Let's get this. The reason why I'm doing that is I'm gonna add a bottom border to this, which essentially is gonna add a top border to the totals. So with my gas record selected, I'll go up to my home tab, inside the font section, I've got my border command. I'm gonna go into the little drop down arrow here. I got all these preset borders I can pick from. Bottom borders, top borders, left, right borders, and so on. I'm gonna grab this thick bottom border. And now if I click away, I've got this nice horizontal line separating my totals from my records up above. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my headings here. I'm gonna grab all my headings. I'm gonna go back to home back to borders, and I'll add the bottom thick border again. And again, just this little bit, I think that right there, it really makes it pop, creating that separation. I got the headers up above, I got my records down below. Now, maybe I wanna add a border right here, separating my column total from the left-hand side. Remember, you had all these different preset borders to pick from, top, bottom, left, right, thick borders, double borders, and so on. So here, I'll go back to borders, and I'm gonna apply a left border. And again, I'll click away. Now I've got this nice vertical line separating that data. Yeah, I'm gonna put one here just for fun. We'll put a right border just to separate my bills from the dollar amounts. Let's put a right border right there, click away. And once again, just really slight, just, just these couple of extra lines inside of here really make a difference really make the content start to separate, separate, make it stand out, make it more accessible for our users. These default borders that you see over here, these kind of lighter gray borders, they don't print out. You can turn them on, you can actually get them to print, but they don't look very good. So by adding your own borders, you're not only making it more presentable on screen, but also when you go to print this. So once again, try this out. Really, we're starting to make this thing look pretty, pretty excellent. Add some borders in there to push it even further as far as your presentation is concerned. Add some borders.